I keep on getting lost in Dragon's Dogma 2. I, I set a quest as my primary quest. And I see the quest marker and the, the, the vicinity in which the, the quest takes place in. But the moment I set foot outside of Vernworth or whatever town I'm setting out of, Har Village maybe. The moment I set foot outside of that fucking town, I'm sidetracked instantly. And it's 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 both frustrating in the sense that god I'm never gonna fucking finish this quest and it's also the most rewarding thing ever because when you go and explore the game rewards you for exploring it's incredible to me how easy it is to get sidetracked in the game but still feel like you're progressing in some sort of meaningful capacity like it's not just getting sidetracked and then getting lost and then just being like oh well I didn't do any fucking I didn't make any progress Right? It No, you made progress. You either level up your vocation, you level up your class, and if it's not any of those things, you get rewarded by some pretty good loot, uh, seeker tokens that you can give to the vocation guild, uh, that give you, you know, different items in return. Uh, you also get, you know, more discipline points for your vocation and stuff like that. Like, it's, it's, it's just good. The feedback loop for exploration is so good and well done. Man. I freaking, I love it, dude. It's so good, man. I mean, and while we're on this topic of um, feedback loop and exploration, I honestly think that this is where, and I'm only going to talk about this very briefly because it's its own thing and I don't want to dive into it too much, but... I want to talk about Starfield. I, I like the game, I think it's charming, I think Starfield is a very charming game, but exploration is where Starfield falls short. Ironically so, because Bethesda can make these games where it rewards you for exploring and it gives you that feedback loop of like, oh dude, check out this freaking dungeon I just entered, dude, there's, a, there's like a skeleton and then it's got like powers and it's like, oh dude, I got freaking blown up, man. It's, it, it, they can do it. I just don't know why they didn't do it for Starfield. It, it, it's heartbreaking, it's a little bit disappointing to see, but whatever. Let me stop myself before I spiral into some sort of pseudo-depression because of uh, the, the not great exploration that is in Starfield. Anyway, Dragon's Dogma 2, it's so good to get lost. It feels great to get lost. And it gives you an excuse, really, to also just, you know, kill monsters and try out new classes and vocations like it, I was initially a mage and then I transferred over to a mystic spearhand once I maxed out my mage vocation and once I got my mystic spearhand vocation on I was like all right let's fucking go dude let's go out shall we ladies and gents you know I took out my spear and I was like vroom you know I was like speeding all over the place I was dashing to different monsters and it's it's really mystic spearhand is a super satisfying class but before I digress into the Mystic Spearhead class, let me get back on track. Exploration can also be pretty... Um, what's it called? Uh, harmful and sort of um, dangerous in the sense that you will encounter a lot of different bosses. Like, for example, when I was exploring this one time, I encountered a boss fight which turned into a dynamic duo, like Godzilla versus fucking King Kong type thing, where I... I was fighting a cyclops initially, and then a griffin decided it was like flying up in the air, and he looked down. The griffin was like, "Yeah, there's a freaking party down there, dude." The griffin lands, whoosh, fucking starts fighting the cyclops. I'll put the clip up here, but dude, it was like fighting the cyclops, and I was just watching from the sidelines. I was like, "Dude, this is sick." What? No way! That's him. Two of them? I can't deal with this. What kind of luck? A griffin and an ogre? Or a cyclops? Oh, they're fighting each other! That's kind of sick. I loved, I loved that encounter. And there's so many other different chance encounters with like worms, like dragon type enemies. And then, of course, you know, you also get your run of the mill enemies, saurians, uh, goblins. Goblin Ds, dude. Yeah, I mean, those are kind of the main enemies that you'll be finding on the road, and then at night time, it's a completely different story, because now you got to fight the undead, and different variations of the undead. You have zombies, you have skeletons, skeleton knights, skeleton archers, you also have, like, these mini bosses at, at night time that are, like, liches? I don't know if they are liches, they look like liches, I think they're liches, but 
I don't know. Uh, I fought one, and I got this really cool staff from this lich. It was super sick, and uh, it was just a cool... Ki and it was a different type of boss than you would normally get in the day. In the daytime, normally you'd get, like, Cyclopses and Minotaurs and whatnot, but this time you get... I, well, once I got a Cyclops, this time around I got a lich. Dude, I can go on and talk about these exploration, like, little details about... Sorry, it's like, it's like, uh... You know, oh, yes, let me tell you about the time I, I walked into the forest, and I... I I encountered a beast of mighty proportions. It was crazy. Let me tell you, sit, sit around the campfire. You know, it's like that kind of situation. And speaking of campfires, one of my favorite parts of exploration is the feeling of being with a group. And th there's like a sense of bonding almost. I wouldn't say it's like, oh, dude, I'm like, I'm friends with my with my pawns, and we're just really, we're just having a good time here. You know, it's not like that. It's more like. It's just relaxing when you get the chance to, you know, sit by the campfire and just chill out because you get to cook food and it shows you like a little cutscene of you cooking meat and it's like, it makes you a little hungry. It looks like something out of like Guga Foods or some shit or maybe some Gordon Ramsay video, but it's, it's amazing how they, they really nailed the aspect of exploration down and adventuring with a party. Like, it's just like you get to camp. You get to eat food, you get to kill shit, you know, it's a bunch of sh it's a bunch of cool stuff. And it's great. Feedback feedback loop is fantastic. And uh, I can't uh, sort of explain enough right now how much I actually really like the camping mechanic in Dar Dragon's Dogma 2. Like, I think it's, it's a really wholesome mechanic to have. Like, it's also really nice because, oh, yeah, the, the sun is setting. We must hunker down before the night sets in. Quick, let's have a meal and then let's go to sleep. You know, it's really nice. Super fun. Um, very wholesome. I like it a lot. But that's kind of my two cents on Dragon's Dogma 2's exploration. I think it's great. Um, it's something that you should definitely play the game for. Um, yes, there are quests and there's the main quest line. I've heard you can actually finish the main quest line in just 24 hours, which is a breath of fresh air in a world where... Normally, it takes you, like, fucking 70 hours to complete the main quest line. <laughs> so, it's nice that it's it's down to 24 hours, and it respects your time, so to speak, in that regard. But, of course, you know, performance woes are there. But putting that aside and taking a look at the game that's actually in front of you, it's it's a good time. It's a really good time. I like it a lot. Um, anyway, yeah, those are my two cents. Uh, feel free to like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, fucking dislike it. Uh, and feel free to subscribe as well. I... I'm trying to post more content like this just because it's easy, you know, to be honest with you. It's easier for me to post content like this. It's low editing, um, and I get to share my thoughts, which is also very low effort to a degree. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I also live stream on this channel, so if you want to catch me playing Dragon's Dogma 2, you know what to do, baby. Stick around and find out, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I'll uh, catch you guys. See you.